Welcome back everyone. I had two days off in a row so you know I am on another adventure. This one has been on my list for a long time now. Uh, so you can get a backhaul uh, from Lee's Ferry all the way back to the dam. So what that means is they basically take you on a boat with your kayak. They take you all the way up to the dam on the Colorado River and then you get to float slash kayak uh, back down about 15 miles. So there's a couple different ways to do it. You can try and do it all in one day. The current is uh, going back towards Lee's Ferry, so it makes it a little bit easier. Uh, another way you can do it is the way that I did, which is camp in between. So I stopped at mile marker nine um, out of 15 going back, and that happens to be right under Horseshoe Bend. So very unique experience to see Horseshoe Bend from the bottom and actually camp down there instead of just seeing it from the top and getting the same picture that everyone else gets. Uh, so I might need to mention that this is in the Page uh, area, so Page, Arizona. Uh, Lee's Ferry is about an hour away from Page, but it is well worth the trip. Uh, you will need your National Parks Pass to get in uh, for parking and all of that stuff. Uh, but they do have uh, overnight parking, so you can just park there and then uh, go down to the boat ramp and they will hook you up with all of your gear and everything. So I did the backhaul, which was about $80, and then you can rent uh, your gear also. So you can rent a kayak or paddleboard, rafts. They have all kinds of options, doubles and singles. Uh, so you can uh, choose which one you want there and then the price uh, will change depending on which option you choose there. So $80 for the backhaul plus the rental for two days for me because I went camping out there and uh, this is amazing. So the water was a little cold you can see me jumping in here. Uh, it was a pretty warm day uh, almost 90 degrees but the water temp on the river uh, just hit 50. So you can see my face here when I go underwater. Uh, it is pretty cold out there, but it did feel good on a nice hot day. Uh, I got to cool down a little bit. I got pretty sunburnt by the end, but the cold water definitely helped cool me down. This is golden hour here. You can see how amazing these mountains look. And right at the top there is the Horseshoe Bend Lookout. So if you've been to Horseshoe Bend, gotten the same picture as everyone else, that's what you're looking at right there. This is my camping spot right on the water with my kayak. So it's pretty easy. I usually have all my backpacking gear already together, so I'm just ready to take off on my next trip. Uh, so instead of uh, bringing it all in my backpack, which I would normally do, I just separated it and put it into dry bags so that it would uh, better fit in my kayak there. So there was only one little compartment in the back of my kayak and I was able to fit everything in there. My tent, my sleeping bag, and uh, food, and uh, other essentials. Uh, this is day two right here. You can see the sun's just starting to come up behind me. And uh, I've been waking up at about 5.30 every morning for some reason. So uh, I put my camping stuff back in the kayak and I got an early start here. That's why it's so crystal clear out there on the water is because I was probably on the water by at least 6.30. Uh, so there wasn't really anyone out there yet. Uh, not too many boats. I had some crystal clear water to start the day. So that was really beautiful. There's also a canyon that you can visit here. I think it's called Water Hole Canyon. So uh, it took me a little while to find it. I thought I might have actually missed it. Uh, but I ended up finding it and it was amazing. This is just like an all-in-one trip. Uh, you have to check this out. You get to do your kayaking, you get to do the camping, you get to see this canyon, you get to see fish, birds, all kinds of crazy cool stuff. So definitely worth the money to go and check this out here. So like I said, I started camping uh, at the nine mile marker. So that means I did about six miles the first day and then I did the remaining nine miles the second day. So a couple extra miles on the end there, but uh, not too bad, honestly. You're going with the river almost the entire time. So 
Uh, even if you're like an intermediate paddler, I'm sure you'd be able to do this. Uh, probably not best if you're a first time kayaker out there. Uh, just being on the river, there's some swirls and stuff. And uh, even in my kayak, I had to regain control a couple times. But definitely a 10 out of 10, highly recommend.